All right. We're going to start seated today. So just a comfortable seat on your mat. Whether that's legs out, feet up, feet crossed. And let the hands just fall to wherever is comfortable, whether that's in the lap, on the knees. Starting to take those deep inhales and exhales. Breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Feeling the air move in through the body, filling all those spaces in the lungs and everywhere all the way down to those toes. And then feeling it leave the body with each exhale. Taking this time to start to get comfortable with the breath. Start to recognize how it makes us feel. Starting to calm the mind down. Letting the day go. Bringing ourselves into our room and onto our mats. Take these next few minutes to just feel the breath. more inhales and exhales here. If it's comfortable, we can slowly start to open the eyes back up or keeping them closed. It's your choice. Let the hands come down by the sides. As we inhale, we'll bring the arms up, just overhead. Exhale, turning the palms out towards the walls and dropping those arms down. Inhaling those arms up. And exhaling down. And inhale up. Exhale down. And do it a couple more times. Deep inhaling up. And exhale it down. And one more time, inhaling all the way up. Exhale, coming down. We'll let the hands come either down to the sides or we can bring them onto the knees or into the lap. We're just going to start to roll those shoulders up. Bringing the shoulders up towards the ears, rolling it back down. We can inhale, bring them up, and as we exhale, drop them down. Going as fast or as slow as is comfortable. And a couple more here. And last one, inhaling those shoulders up. Exhale, rolling them down. And then just kind of let those shoulders relax down the back. We'll slowly drop the chin down towards the chest. Feeling the stretch all the way down the back of the neck. And then slowly start to rotate that head from side to side. Just focusing on the front of the body, trying not to roll that head back. 
Going as fast or as slow as is comfortable. And the next time we roll that head over to the left, we'll fold the head over that shoulder. And then take that right hand, just place it down by the mat, right alongside the body. Just getting a little bit more stretch in that side. And we'll take that hand, place it back on that knee and slowly rotate that head over to that other side, holding it over that right shoulder. And then taking that left hand, placing it on the mat, feeling that little bit of an extra stretch there. And then we'll slowly take that hand, place it back on the knee, roll that head back center, let it hang for a moment here. If we want to add a little bit more stretch to that neck, we can take the hands, bringing it behind the head, clasping the fingers together, slowly placing them right on the bottom of the head, starting with those elbows out, and then slowly start to drift those elbows forward towards the face. Just giving that little bit extra. If it's too much, you can release the hands down. And then we'll slowly unhook those hands, bring them down onto the legs. Slowly bring that head up. And then we're gonna take the chin and point it up towards that ceiling. Stretching out the front of that neck. Taking a couple breaths here. And then slowly start to tilt that chin back forward. We'll take the hands facing down by the sides one more time. Inhale up. As we exhale, we're gonna to start to twist that upper body towards that left, bringing those arms down, dropping that right hand on the knee if we can, and that left hand coming behind us. Taking the gaze over the back shoulder if it's comfortable, or just over at the side wall. Taking those deep breaths here. And on our next inhale, we'll bring those arms back up, bringing ourselves back forward. As we exhale, twisting to that opposite side, bringing those arms down. Again, gaze can go either behind that shoulder or just over at that side wall. Taking those deep breaths here. And on that next inhale, bring those arms back up, bring yourselves back forward. As we exhale, we're going to start to fold over the front of those legs, bringing those arms down, letting the hands come down onto the floor or the mat, and kind of just letting that head relax. And take those hands, kind of walk them out a little bit so those elbows are straight. And slowly walk the hands over to the left side. Just getting a little stretch in that right side body, only going as far as is comfortable.
And then we'll slowly start to walk those hands over to that opposite side. Again, going only as far as is comfortable. Feeling that stretch all down that side body. Few more breaths here. And we'll slowly start to walk those hands back center. Hold it here for just a moment with those arms outstretched. And then slowly start to walk those hands back towards the body, bringing ourselves up. And we'll slowly come on to our hands and our knees. So we want to make sure those wrists are lined up right under those shoulders. Those knees are right under those hips and those feet tops are flat on the floor straight behind us. As we inhale, we're going to drop the belly down, bring the gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, roll that spine up, bringing that chin into the chest. Inhale, dropping that belly down, gaze coming up. Exhale, rolling that spine, tucking that chin. Inhale, dropping that belly down, gaze coming up. Exhale, roll that spine up, chin to the chest. Inhale, dropping that spine. And exhale, rolling back up. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, dropping that belly down. And exhale, rolling up. On that next inhale, coming to a neutral spine. We'll take the knees out wide on the mat, tuck those big toes together, sink those hips back over those heels, slide those hands out, forehead onto the mat. If it's too much on the shoulders to have the arms all the way stretched, we can take those arms, bringing them alongside the legs. Taking a few deep breaths here. We'll take one more deep inhale, exhaling it all out. On the next inhale, coming back up to those hands and those knees. Bringing those knees back in under those hips. We're going to tuck the toes onto the mat and slowly start to push those hips up towards the sky, coming into a down dog. Taking a moment here to feel the stretch in the back of those legs. Maybe lifting one heel, dropping the other, walking those feet out. You need to hold one side, maybe get a little bit deeper of a stretch, feel free. Going back and forth. And then slowly let those legs come into stillness. We'll take a deep breath. Exhaling it out. And on the next inhale, slowly walk those feet up to those hands. 
putting a little bit of a bend in those knees, letting ourselves hang over those legs, taking a hold of each elbow here, and then letting that head hang and slowly rocking side to side. And then coming back center, letting those hands fall down to the mat. Let that head hang, do some circles. Shake the head yes or shake it no. And then we'll let it hang for a breath. Take those hands, place them onto those thighs putting a little bit deeper of a bend in those knees and slowly start to roll ourselves all the way up to standing, stacking those vertebrae on top of each other. Roll those shoulders down on the back, bring the gaze forward. Let those hands rest at the side for a breath. And on our next inhale, we'll bring the hands up towards the sky, bring that gaze up. Exhale, bring those arms out, swan diving down towards those feet. Inhale, we'll half lift, so slide those hands right under those knees. Exhale, folding back forward. Inhale, we're going to step the feet back to a high plank or dropping onto those knees. Exhale, coming all the way down onto the mat, hugging those elbows in towards the body. Untuck those toes. Inhale, just lift that chest, bring that gaze forward. Exhale, coming down onto the mat. Inhale, push back to a down dog so we can pass through all fours here and come up to that down dog. Take a breath here. And on that next inhale, walk those feet up to those hands. Folding over those legs. And inhale all the way up. Bring those arms with us. Exhaling them down. Inhale the arms up. Keys going up towards the thumbs. Exhale, swan diving over those legs. Inhale, half lift, sliding right under those knees. Exhaling down. Inhale, step those feet back to that high plank or onto those knees. Exhale, hugging those shoulder elbows in, coming all the way onto the back, untucking those toes. Inhale, lifting just that chest, gaze going forward. Exhale, coming back down. Inhale, pushing back to that down dog. Taking that breath here. And inhale, walk those feet up to those hands. Folding over those legs and inhale all the way up, bringing those arms, exhaling down. We'll do that one more time. Inhale the arms up, exhale, swan diving over those legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back to that plank or onto those knees. Exhale, dropping all the way down, hugging those elbows in. Untuck those toes. Inhale, just lifting that chest. Exhaling down. Inhale, back to that down dog. We'll take a couple breaths here, holding this down dog for just a little bit longer. So feel free if you want to pedal those feet out, you can pedal those feet out. 
Whatever's comfortable here. Taking a couple more breaths. On our next inhale, we're gonna lift our right leg with a bend in the knee. As we exhale, we're gonna start to put a bend in the left leg, bringing that right knee forward, dropping that foot between those thumbs. We'll keep the hands down on the mat, kind of over that front knee while we kind of toe heel that foot a little bit off to the side. So you're getting a little bit closer to the edge of that mat. You want your feet to be on some railroad tracks so they're not directly behind each other. We'll take those hands, place them on the thigh, give ourselves a little assist up. And now that we're up, if we need to adjust a little bit more, check those feet again. We want them parallel with each other. We'll take the hands, place them on the hips, make sure those hips are nice and even, facing forward. We'll inhale, bring those arms up. We'll exhale, drop that left arm down and just kind of slowly twist over that kind of left side. So you're at like a little bit of an angle here. We want to engage the core area to help out with that lower back. We can bring the gaze up towards the sky. We want to add a little balance challenge here. Taking a few breaths. Couple more. We'll inhale, bring ourselves back up. Bring that left arm back up. We're going to exhale, bring the hands down behind the back, resting them on that lower back. You can either kind of knuckle the fists together like we're fist bumping ourselves, or if you just want to lay the hands flat on that lower back, whatever is comfortable. We're taking an inhale here. As we exhale, start to fold over that bent leg. If it's too much with the hands on the lower back, you can take the hands, dropping them on either side of that foot. Try not to lay on that leg, putting too much pressure. So we're just kind of hovering over it. Take a couple breaths here. And inhale, bring ourselves back up. We'll take the hands, just release them from the back. We can place them on the hips. Take that back foot, kind of just hop it forward, just about maybe another foot or so. We'll take the heel, drop it down onto the mat, have those toes so they're pointing kind of off at an angle. If it gets to be too much on the knee with those toes at that angle, you can take that foot and put it parallel with the mat. That will help a little bit with that knee. If we have the front leg straight, we'll go ahead and put that bend. Make sure those hips again are facing forward. Inhale, bring those arms up. We'll take the hands, bring them together at the top. Take those fingers, kind of clasp them so those pointer fingers are pointing up towards the sky. So we can stay right here. Or if we want to add a back bend, we'll bring the gaze up and slowly start to shift that upper body back, always engaging that core here to help with that lower back. <clears throat> Taking those deep breaths here. If at any point that back bend needs to be too much, we can always come out of it. One more breath. 
And then slowly shifting ourselves out of that back bend, we'll release the hands, straighten that front leg, taking an inhale. As we exhale, fold over that front leg. So here is if we need those blocks, we can take those blocks, putting them on each side of the foot, and we can kind of stack those hands to help a little bit with that um, stretch in the back. You can always have a bend in that front knee. And for those of you at home, if you don't have blocks, pillows, or books, or something, you can stack on each side of those feet or that foot. That will help. We'll hold this pose for a few breaths, allowing that leg to release. Sometimes the back of these legs get really tight by either sitting all day or even exercising can make them really tight. So the whole these allow them to relax. Reuse the breath here. Focusing on it, moving in through the body and into the back of that leg. If you haven't, you can go ahead and just let that head hang. And take a few more breaths here. And slowly putting a bend in that front knee. We'll keep the hands down on the mat. Rotate that back foot so we're up on those toes. And then step that right leg back to meet that back foot in a down dog. You need to shake out that right leg. Feel free to shake it out. You need to shake out that other leg. So we'll hold our down dog for a couple breaths. Maybe feel the difference between the legs. That right leg might be a little bit looser than that left leg. We'll try to even that up here in just a second. Taking a couple more breaths. On our next inhale, we'll lift that left leg up, putting that bend in that knee. As we exhale, putting that bend in that right leg, sweeping that left leg forward, dropping it between those thumbs. So <clears throat> with the hands on the mat, slowly kind of toe heel that foot off to the side. We're on those railroad tracks, taking those hands, placing them onto that back and slowly lifting ourselves up. Again, now that we're standing, we can kind of take that extra second here to adjust the stance a little bit more. Taking those hands on those hips, making sure they're facing forward and they're nice and even with each other. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale that right arm down. And then slowly kind of shift that gaze up if we want to add that balance challenge. Making sure we're engaging that core, helping with that lower back. Taking those deep breaths. And 
slowly bring that arm back up. Exhale, dropping those hands down to the side. We'll take that back foot, kind of hop it forward just a little bit, rotating that heel so it's down on that mat. Again, we want those toes pointing off to the side a little bit, or we can have that foot parallel to kind of give that knee a little bit of a break. We'll slowly put that bend in that front leg. Taking those hips, or hands on those hips, making sure they're nice and even. Facing forward. Inhale, bring those arms up. And take those hands, clasping them together, leaving those pointers up. Bring that gaze up towards the sky. If we want to add that back bend, slowly shifting those shoulders back. Making sure to engage that core. Oh, I just realized we forgot to do something on this side. <laughs> I remembered. We'll add it back in. <laughs> Taking those deep breaths here. And we'll slowly start to shift back forward, bringing that gaze forward. Exhale, dropping those arms down. All right, this is gonna seem kind of funky, but we're gonna rotate that back foot back on those toes. We need to step it back along a little bit, we can. We'll inhale those arms up. And exhale, drop them down behind the back. Either doing that fist bump or laying that um, hand on top of the other palm. If you have it on the palms, try to switch this time so the opposite one is on the bottom. Taking an inhale here. And exhale, rotating over that front leg. Again, if it's too much with the hands on the lower back, you can take them, dropping them down onto the mat. Trying not to rest ourselves onto that leg. So just kind of hovering over it. Taking those deep breaths. One more breath here. And slowly bringing ourselves back up. We'll release the hands. Kind of go funky again. Kind of hop that back foot forward, rotating that heel down so we're at that angle. We'll straighten that front leg. Inhale those arms up. And exhale, folding over that front leg. Again, if you need those blocks on each side of the foot, kind of helps you come out of the pose from a little bit, helping that stretch out. You can always have a bend in that knee. Taking those deep breaths here. Just allowing the back of that leg to release. With each exhale, feeling the tension leave that leg. We'll hold this for a few more breaths so those muscles get really tight back there. So if you have it, you can let that head relax. Taking a few more breaths here. And 
and slowly putting a bend in that front knee. Rotating that back foot so you're up on those toes. <clears throat> and then stepping that front leg back to a down dog. <clears throat> we'll hold this for just a breath here, maybe a couple. If you need to shake that leg out, shake that leg out. Maybe shake that other leg. I'm going to place both feet on the mat. Now feeling how loose each leg is. Maybe a little bit more even now. Or take an inventory and think about maybe when we first started our practice, how the legs felt compared to now. On the next inhale, we'll lift that right leg up with that bend in that knee. As we exhale, placing that bend in the left leg, sweeping that right leg forward, dropping it between the thumbs, rotating that back foot so it's parallel with the mat. We'll take the hands, place them on that front knee, give ourselves that assist up. Take that front foot, rotate it so it's also parallel with the mat. Take a second to line those toes up. We'll inhale, bring the arms up. As we exhale, folding straight down over those legs, I guess in between the legs. If you need to adjust the stance once you've come down, feel free. Let that head hang here. If you want to do some circles with that neck, or shake it yes, and then shake it no. And then just let it hang. We'll slowly take the hands, place them right under that face, straightening those elbows up. And we're gonna start to walk the hands over to that left side, I'm sorry, right side. If you're already going left, you can go left, it's fine. <laughs> and just start to go as far as you can until you start to feel that twist in the back. If you want, you can go all the way to that foot, taking hold of the ankle, or the foot at the bottom, whatever is comfortable. <clears throat> and then we'll slowly start to bring that right arm, twisting up towards the sky. If it's too much to have that hand all the way over, we can have it right in front of the face and slowly do that same twist. Whatever's comfortable. We'll hold it for just a couple breaths. And then exhale that arm back down. Slowly walk ourselves back center. We need to kind of put a little bit of a bend in those knees, wiggle those toes around, and then straighten those legs back up. And we'll start to walk over to that opposite side. Taking that hand, placing it onto that ankle, onto the foot, or just straight down so we're straight front, right in front of that face. And then twisting that body up, bringing that opposite arm up towards the sky. Again, just taking a couple breaths here. And slowly releasing the arm back down, walking ourselves back center. Again, we'll put that bend in those knees, wiggle those toes, straighten those legs back up. Take those toes, kind of rotate them so they're pointing to the, about the corners of those mats. Putting a little bend in those knees, we'll take the hands, placing them on the sides. Shifting ourselves back up, straightening those legs, 
Again, if we need to adjust the stance once we're standing, we'll inhale the arms up. And as we exhale, start to bend those knees, placing the weight into those heels, bringing the arms out to the sides with a bend in those elbows. Palms are facing wide, forward, fingers are wide, not palms, fingers. Taking those deep breaths. And on that next inhale, popping ourselves back up, bringing those arms back up. Exhale, folding back over those legs. And kind of start to toe heel those feet about hip distance apart. And then we'll fold over those feet for just a breath here. As we inhale, we're going to start to straighten those arms if they're on the floor and slowly put a bend in those knees, almost like we're coming down to sit into a chair. We're going to come all the way to a full squat here, letting those legs come all the way down. So the hands will kind of come inside those legs. You might have your heels so they're not touching the ground and that's okay. It just depends how tight your Achilles are. If it's too much, you can take the mat, kind of roll it up behind you and stick it under that heel if it's too much there, or you can take a um, block. But when we feel ready, we're gonna to start to lift the chest up, bring ourselves just on those legs. So a little bit of a balance here. We'll take the hands, place the palms together in front of a heart and just take a couple breaths. If we find our balance is a little challenged, we can always release those hands kind of back down onto the mat. Take a couple more breaths here. Helping to strengthen those ankles out, stretch out those heels. And slowly take those hands, placing them onto the mat. And we'll start to shift those hips back up into standing. And then feel that blood rush all the way back down to those toes. <clears throat> take the hands, place them on the knees, put that bend in those knees, and slowly roll ourselves all the way up to standing. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, swan driving ourselves forward over the legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back to a down dog here. Take a breath. And slowly start to shift down onto those knees. And then making your way, having a seat on your mat. We'll take the feet out in front of us. We kind of rock back and forth. We need to kind of rock those legs out. And then let them just come to the mat. We'll inhale, bring those arms up. And exhale, start to fold over those legs, just coming to wherever you start to feel that stretch. Not only in the backs of the legs, but we feel it in that lower back. You can always have a bend in those knees. Trying to keep the length in the back, so we don't want to round ourselves forward. So if we feel like we're starting to do that, just come out of it just a little bit. If you're at your toes and you feel like you need a little bit more stretch, just pull those toes back just a little bit. And take some deep inhales and exhales here.
We'll take the hands, place them on the mat right next to those legs. Slowly walk ourselves back up. We'll take the feet, bringing them in together, shifting them towards those hips. Kind of rock so we're up on those sit bones. And then take an inhale. And as we exhale, start to fold ourselves over those feet. Again, trying to keep that length in the back. So we feel that we're rounding forward, just coming up just a little bit. And taking those deep breaths here. And slowly taking those hands, placing them on the mat, giving ourselves that help up. We'll take your feet, take, take the feet, take the knees, kind of give them a little bit of a help here. And then we'll kick those feet out wide on the mat. So whatever's comfortable with wise, if you are right here, that's fine. Or if you're full on splits, whatever's comfortable. We'll inhale the arms up. And as we exhale, we can come down between the legs or we can take the hands onto the feet, whatever is comfortable for you. Again, trying to keep the length in the back so if we feel that rounding forward, we're just gonna start to come out of it just a little bit. Again, we can always have that bend in those knees. I'm taking those deep breaths here. And taking those hands, placing them on the mat, slowly walking ourselves back up. We'll take the feet, placing them wide on the mat. We'll take the hands behind us. Whatever direction, if it's comfortable, have them facing out, facing to the side, whatever's comfortable on those wrists. And you're just going to drop the legs side to side here. If you want to hold one side, maybe a little bit longer. Feel free. And the next time we get to our right side, we're going to let the legs drop all the way to the floor, bringing the left hand up off the mat, sweeping it around behind us. Almost like we're going to shake someone's hand that's behind us. We're twisting that lower back. Deep breaths here. And the next time we exhale, start to sweep that hand back in front of us, bringing those knees back up, placing that hand back on the mat. Let those legs fall to each side here. And then the next time we get to that left side, letting those legs fall, taking that right hand, sweeping it around and shake that hand behind us.
And slowly sweeping that hand back forward. Taking it behind us, we'll drop those legs to each side one more time. And then bringing them back up onto the mat. Take those feet, bringing them in together and slowly making our way all the way down onto our mats. Bringing the knees into the chest. Take a hold of the legs and slowly rock side to side. <laughs> and then we'll take those feet, placing them back down onto the mat. Let those legs come all the way down. And we'll do one final full body stretch, taking those arms up overhead. So stretch those arms all the way up, stretch those legs all the way down, almost like we're just waking up in the morning. And then release it all down. Let those legs fall to wherever's comfortable. Take the arms, bring them down alongside the body. Start to close the eyes. Refocusing on the breath. Feeling it move in with each inhale. And then feeling it release the body with each exhale. Allowing us to sink deeper and deeper into our mats. Trying to release any tension we might be holding in the body. Or any stress we might be holding in the mind. Watching it leave with each exhale. Feeling the mind and any thoughts we might have. Now is your time to not have to worry about anything, to not have to think about anything. Just be with yourself. So try to take advantage of that right now. Feel your mind start to wander. Just try to bring it back by focusing on the breath.
to bring more alignment back into the body. And moving your fingers and toes. Roll your wrists and ankles. Rock your head from side to side. Begin to deepen your inhales and exhales. And when you feel ready, slowly place one foot on the mat and follow it by the other. Slowly bring one knee to the chest and follow it by the other. And rock side to side. When you feel ready, roll onto your right side. your right side grounded by the earth, leaving your left side open to the sun, the moon, and the stars, and all the gifts the universe has to offer you today. When you feel ready, come into a comfortable seated position. We'll slowly take the hands, placing them right in front of the heart with the palms together. Close the eyes one last time. Take a deep inhale and exhale it all out. Thank you for sharing your practice with me this evening. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Namaste. <laughs>